This is an ultrasound examination of bilateral carotid arteries. This first image is a transverse image of the common carotid artery and uh, does demonstrate a small amount of intimal thickening. This is a longitudinal artery or image of the common carotid artery and uh, a small amount of intimal thickening may be present but no substantial uh, plaque can be identified on this image. This is the right uh, external carotid artery at its origin. We see a small amount of uh, uh, non-shadowing plaque in the distal common carotid artery and then some calcific plaque at the origin of the external carotid artery along with some non-shadowing plaque as well. The origin of the internal carotid artery on the right is demonstrated. Again, non-shadowing plaque is present in the distal common carotid artery and we see some shadowing plaque in the proximal internal carotid artery. This is a color Doppler image of the uh, internal carotid artery. There is a significant aliasing in this uh, image. Uh, flow is should be continuous during the cardiac cycle and should be flow away from the transducer. Away from the transducer should look red. This is all blue. This is because of the low scale setting that is employed on this image. We can see a very narrow area of uh, flow lumen on this image indicating the likelihood of significant stenosis. This is a Doppler wave formed from the uh, proximal common carotid artery and we see a relatively normal looking uh, waveform with a good spectral window, fairly deep dichrotic notch however and uh, a fairly rapid heart rate uh, the angle here appears to be uh, adjusted incorrectly. This appears to be more like a 50 degree uh, Doppler angle or even 45 than it does 60. 60 is, is the number that's being used. If this angle is incorrect, this number here would be lower. This, this would perhaps be 60 centimeters per second instead of 74 centimeters per second uh, during peak systole. This is the uh, right distal common carotid artery and uh, surprisingly what looked like plaque shown on earlier images is not seen. The flow lumen is totally filled with moving color Doppler so that what was identified uh, erroneously as plaque on earlier grayscale images is probably this material here which is probably reverberation uh, from, uh, from the skin or overlying uh, muscle layers. This is a uh, normal looking waveform although it is fairly rapid heart rate. From here to here is one second and there are at least two waveforms in there. So this heart rate is at least 120 beats per minute. Uh, the other thing of concern is that the flow rate here at peak systole is only 43 centimeters per second. It's a rather low flow velocity for a distal common carotid artery. This is the proximal internal carotid artery. The Doppler gate has been placed in that area of narrowing that was described earlier and uh, we get a peak systolic velocity of 128 centimeters per second. This is just high enough to qualify for 50 percent stenosis, the discriminator being 125 centimeters per second. It's a rather poor image, a lot of color noise and what we call color bleeding because of a high color gain setting. 
This is an image that is reported to be in the uh, mid internal carotid artery. Uh, it apparently was frozen or updated at an at a inappropriate time because there's no evidence of flow uh, in this uh, Doppler gait. The patient may be moving significantly during this study, though, in defense of the sonographer. This is a normal velocity, 102 centimeters per second, uh, and the end diastolic at 34 centimeters per second. The distal internal carotid artery appears normal as well. Again, we have a perhaps an arrhythmia on top of the tachycardia and uh, normal velocities. The right external carotid artery has a normal shape to its waveform, has some reverse flow, which is normal for this vessel, and does not show a spectral window. That's possibly due to the uh, small size of these waveforms. This scale could have been uh, changed and a, uh, a cutoff of uh, 60 centimeters per second instead of 160 centimeters per second could have used that might have made the uh, spectral window show up. This is the right vertebral artery. Flow should be toward the transducer or from the right of the screen to the left. Uh, the red color on the color bar here and within the artery tells us that that is so, that the flow is toward the transducer. We also see uh, uh, no negative sign on these numbers over here, which would indicate that it's reversed. So flow on top of the line is always toward the transducer in the pulse Doppler, unless indicated differently. This is a transverse image of the left, I'm going to assume, common carotid artery. Again, we see some minimal thickening and an overlying jugular vein. This is the bifurcation imaged in a transverse fashion. I'm assuming the smaller vessels, the ECA, and the larger vessel with some circumferential plaque is the ICA. This is a longitudinal image of the common carotid artery. Uh, no evidence of disease, perhaps a small amount of minimal thickening. The depth on this image could be adjusted to give a larger image and uh, more information. Doppler waveform of the proximal common carotid artery appears to be normal with uh, near normal velocities. Again, an arrhythmia and a rapid heartbeat are noted. The distal common carotid artery uh, again has normal waveform and uh, there's uh, rapid heart rate. This is an image of the internal carotid artery on the left. We see some uh, echogenic plaque as well as some hypocolic plaque. Uh, there is a small amount of shadowing here indicating some calcif calcification, most likely in this portion of the plaque. The external carotid artery shows some non-shadowing plaque in the deeper area of the artery and a small amount of calcific plaque in the uh, near field portion of the artery. The internal carotid artery proximally gives a signal of uh, 45 centimeters per second peak systole, which is normal. We have uh, in the Mid ICA, we have again signs of an arrhythmia and rapid heart rate, but a nice spectral window, a normal waveform, and normal velocities. The distal ICA again has a normal waveform, good spectral window is visualized, normal velocities. The left external carotid artery is rather difficult to see because of shadowing from the uh, the near field plaque, but has a, a normal appearing waveform with a uh, small amount of reverse flow and zero flow at end diastole. These are normal features of the uh, 
external carotid artery. The left vertebral artery is, should be flowing from right to left or away from the transducer. You can see it's angling down this way. And that is what we're demonstrating with the negative sign here. There is no color information from this image. This is a very dampened waveform, but it is anagrid. This is a summary of the uh, information from this examination. The subclavian arteries were not uh, investigated. Uh, this patient has uh, greater than 50% stenosis on the right side in the proximal internal carotid artery. This may be an underestimation because of the rather low velocity that was seen in the distal common carotid artery. It was only 43. And the internal carotid to common carotid ratio is nearly 3.0. It's 2.95. On the left side, the signals are normal. This patient does have an arrhythmia and a rampant heart rate which complicates the interpretation of the examination.